Another Earth Day means another Disney Nature documentary. You can't see me, but I'm doing air quotes right now because the plots of these films more closely resemble something like The Lion King than an actual documentary. Taking place in Sri Lanka, narrated by Tina Fey, Monkey Kingdom is a detailed socioeconomic story involving a tribe of macaque monkeys. The heroine is a lower class citizen named Maya, and this film is about her struggle to climb the proverbial ladder. She wants to provide a better life for her new son Kip, given to her by a handsome stranger named Kumar, who may later be the savior of the kingdom when it's invaded by enemy forces. There is also a jealous king named Raja, and a trio of cantankerous upper class women known as the Sisterhood, who control high society. It's a more Disney plot than Cinderella. If you pay attention to the credits in addition to Sri Lanka, filming took place all the way over in India as well. Hmm. Plenty of moments, especially those involving interactions with the human world, appear staged or at least cut together conveniently in the editing room. The intricate story just serves as a reason to call into question the authenticity of the entire thing, and will probably go over the heads of most of the kids in the audiences anyway. I suppose that as long as it's based on fact, whether it's a true story or not, you could give this film a pass. I just don't understand why we need a socially relevant, semi-feminist, battle of the classes, hard not success story involving wild monkeys in the first place. Kids are going to love the cute monkeys, and there are natural wonders to marvel at for adults as well. We don't need the kitschy narration to be inspired by this footage. Anyone who likes simian antics will enjoy this film, but it would be nice if the DVD came with a way to turn off the story that comes along with it. I give Monkey Kingdom a 3 out of 5. I'm Hamilton Whitney, and you can check out full reviews of this and other films, as well as movie screening giveaways on filmhamster.com.